Hello, my name is Will Thomas with Trail Running Soul, and I am here to show you the Gelbot from Hydropack today. Uh, this is a water bottle, um, but what makes this water bottle a little more unique than anything else is its uh, combination of holding water and gel um, all within the water bottle. So if you are someone that sucks down a lot of gels on your runs, um, this may be a water bottle to try out. This is a uh, 20 ounce uh, water bottle that retails for uh, $13.99. You can also get it in a 24 ounce uh, for just a dollar more. And uh, it holds uh, here in the center console here 2.3 ounces of uh, gel. That's the equivalent of about two you get maybe two and a half gels in here. Uh, let me show you a little bit about how it works. Uh, first off, you just uh, pop off the lid and you can take your, uh, your gel, pop it in, and uh, then you just pop this lid back on and put your water in, of course, and or your hydration. Put the lid back on. Now, uh, from this point, uh, if you tip it upside down, everything is fine. If you uh, keep the lid closed and you just suck on this big spout, you'll get the gel from the middle. And then if you open the lid up, then you'll get uh, just water. Water will come out. So, and it actually has a middle uh, spot where you can get both water and gel at the same time. Uh, pretty neat little invention and uh, can really take a sticky mess out of uh, dealing with gels on the run. Some of the uh, pros about this is obviously the ability to carry your gels with your water all in one hand and not have a, a sticky mess messing with uh, gel packets and all that. It's easy to clean up. Um, as you notice that this thing breaks apart into many pieces. You can just pop everything Part. It all comes apart anyways um, and you can just toss it all in your dishwasher on the top rack and it comes out nice and clean. So after you run uh, it makes the cleanup process a lot easier. Some bottles are a little more hard to, to clean in some of those spots but this one comes apart nice and easy. Um, this also works great for cross training if you're not running but say you're on your bike. Uh, there's nothing worse than trying to deal with uh, sucking down a gel while drinking from a water bottle all while riding a bicycle and uh, This puts it that much easier. You can just grab it and get gels and water all in one and back in your on your bike um, Also this uh, lid will work with just about any brand of uh, water bottle. This is the standard lid you can use it with a specialized brand or any of the other major uh, brands. So if the bottle gets bad, you know, you can still toss off the lid. And also uh, the little grooves, it fits really nicely in the hand, uh, just holding it. It actually comes, or it doesn't come with, but you can purchase for, uh, this is called the uh, RunBot Strap. And for $8.99, it's very basic. There's not much to it. Um, but you can plop this right on. It does have a nice uh, reflective strap on it. So if you're running out on the roads, um, it can help you to be seen. But this is a very, I guess, minimal uh, setup. There's not much to it. There's no pockets on this or anything. But it gets the job done. Get your hand held and uh, you know, reflective strap. But there's no, yeah, no pockets or anything. Also, the bottle does work, um, you know, with the, say, the Ultimate Direction uh, handheld strap or also the Nathan strap. They both fit on here nicely, so you have your choices if you're, uh, like, having something else. So that's nice. A uh, couple of the, the cons that I, downsides of this that I found is uh, mainly gel leakage. Uh, twice I would be just running along and all of a sudden I would feel gel dripping down my hand. And look down and realize that it's been oozing out of the top and I'm not sure you know what had caused that maybe I was squeezing too hard or something but there's nothing worse than trying to clean up a gooey sticky mess in the middle of your run 
um, once I actually loaded it all up through the two gels in there and I tossed it into my car on the passenger side seat took a short drive to the trailhead by the time I got there um, both gels all the gel had drained out and all over my car seat so that was kind of a bummer um, it only happened once I don't know if it had to do with heat and you know pressure on it or something but um, you do have to be careful but normally it gels won't come out you know just sitting here so uh, you just have to be careful keep it upright and uh, you should be should be good uh, another downside I've found about this if you are one of those guys where you're drinking and then you slam your bottle lid closed uh, that can cause a mess if you notice um, that top thing will pop right down so then in the middle of your run you got to stop and then you're fishing through your you know your liquid trying to get this back out and then popped back in so it can be a, a mess you know it can be avoided by just you know gently closing the lid when you're done drinking just close it, it happens when this middle section gets pressed it'll just pop right in so be careful on that that's happened once or twice some of the I guess controversies uh, some people have complained about this spout being too big um, I found it to be just about right uh, I mean it needs to be bigger so that you can get your lips on there to suck the gel out or to squeeze it out um, but some people are complaining when you're drinking your water it's too big but it's not bad I didn't have any issues and then also um, some people complained about the ratio of gels to water. Some were saying you only need one gel per this much water versus this holds two. Um, I found it worked great. Um, I would run out of water the same time I'd run out of uh, gels. It was nice to be able to sip your gels a little bit at a time instead of trying to suck down a whole packet as quick as possible. Um, also, of course, it's uh, BPA free and all that other uh, good stuff. I found it didn't work the best for my really long runs or during races. Anywhere where I had to uh, stop and refill it, it was kind of a sticky mess, you know, taking it all apart and trying to load new gels in there um, in the middle of a run, a long run or a race. And yeah, it can get a bit sticky. So I found it worked best on my daily jogs, just short where I'm heading out for an hour, hour and a half. It was a perfect amount uh, to get through. And it was nice not having sticky gel packets uh, along for the ride. Anyways, that's my review on the uh, gel bot from HydroPack. Again, it is a 20 ounce for $13.99, or you can get a 24 ounce for uh, $14.99. And thank you from trailrunningsold.com.